What's up, everyone? Netherwood here with another Satisfactory for you, episode 31. Uh, I'm getting, we're actually getting into new territory. After this, I have not done any of the things we're about to do. I mean, we did a little bit of a smart play thing, but it was really just like put down an assembler and route some stuff in. It was not a big deal. So, on pause, as we usually do here. I'm sitting here at the assembly plant. I need to add sinks to all of our builds now, all of our factories and sinks, so we can get those tickets going, okay? While we're off doing other things. Um, one thing I did off camera real quick is I did um, kind of raise everything up and actually put supports in here. I'm trying to sit up straighter. I noticed in some of the videos that I'm like this. They're like, and then I did this, and then we did that, guys. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I gotta sit up straight. But anyway, I, I put in supports for all these so that it looks more realistic and uh, legit here. And I routed, re kind of rerouted that a tiny bit just because it, I wanted it, again, to lift it up high. Um, but when you put sinks on this, the first thing I want to do, though is I want to reroute this guy to be going out. So I'm going to reroute all the stuff from one end to the... Actually, that might take a while. That's stuff I might want to do off camera for a lot of our stuff. What what factory is not doing that? I think they all are, except Ironworks. I can do Ironworks off, off camera. Let's reroute this guy to go the other direction, and it shouldn't be that hard since we already have everything hooked up, except you might have to redo these. Oh, that, that sucks. Oh, well, let's just start doing it. Let's see if I can do this here. We know we don't want that, because it's going the wrong direction. Can I just snap in a Slim Jim here? Can I just snap in? Well, it's going to be going the other way, so I don't want any of this stuff. I don't think that'll snap in, but we're going to try it. So let's rip all this stuff out. Can I pick this up? Do I have enough space? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't have any space. So we can rip all this out. This has all got to go. It's all moving to the other side. Um, I'll rip the sinks out up here, too. I think I, I might have ripped out the first one. I really need to get that video card going, but I've been buying some other stuff. Really not sure what we're going to do here, because it's, it's a receiving area. So I can leave it, because we're going to, you know, drop off stuff, right? All right, so let's turn this around. Let's just rip this out. I'm not sure it'll connect again. All right, there we go. We want it to go the other way. All right, it's going to go out that direction, and it looks correct. Yep, that's right. Now, it's got to go out that way. Okay, perfect. Oops. All right, it's even still got its support. That's awesome. No, wrong direction. There we go. Oops. See, it flipped around. All right. Oh, got this guy right there. I knew there was something going on. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. So I'm going to be... Also, I, I did say I was streaming every Monday. This coming up Monday, I will be out of town. I'm going to be backpacking, so... Um, Mark 1 would be fine. We're receiving out of this one, right? Yeah, I mean, we're giving it to this guy. So I won't be streaming this Monday. Every other Monday I will be. It's really strange that I'll be, you know, out of town on a Monday. Um, usually I'd be at work. In fact, I need to let my boss know I'm not going to be there. So again, this is going to route all the way down here. But first we need to put one of these on there. So let's get that in place. So yeah, I won't be there this Monday. But every Monday after that, I will. Um, it is what it is, I guess. Is that correct? It is not. So many things it can connect to up here. Again, I've been watching backrooms footage. <laughs> videos. And so every time I get in here and I get underneath in these logistics areas, it feels like the backrooms videos. It's just so funky. I get that feeling. That feeling of aloneness. Like you're the only one there. And in fact, in this game... Besides what you would consider in the back rooms the entities, you are the only one here. Which is really strange, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get this in here, Mark II belt. That's that's fine. Yeah, we're going to head out that direction. Let's get this set up. Uh, first, let's get this wall set up, or this area. Um, let's put the doors in right here. Should we go... No, nah, we won't go with metal doors, because these are just... Uh, like access points, right? So they don't need to be metal doors. They just need to be uh, the uh, good old concrete stuff. So I think it's going to be right there. 
let's get this guy in. Now, I did leave some space, because I want a splitter. Because, like, when you want to bring this to somewhere else, for now, you want to split it. Because, in fact, in the future, I'm going to want to do that, too. So I'm probably going to have two boxes. I'm going to have the box I can pick stuff up out of, in case I need some stuff in my inventory. And I'll have the box that supplies everybody else, because that box is going to load the train or the truck, right? So really, I'm going to have a double box set up. Maybe I should just split this now. Nah, it'll be fine. I feel like I should. I just feel like you should. I should just do it right the first time. How many rotors do we have in here? Not even that many. Um, hmm. Let me know in the comment section if you like this part where I'm just like thinking of what I want to do. I think I am gonna have to split this three ways, right? Two boxes and a sink, which is gonna be not much at that point. Alright, because we're only going to sink a third of what we're producing until the boxes fill up, which for rotors are going to be forever. Why don't I build it so that it will go three directions? Let's do that. So, let's get back to... I should have copied the box. Oh, there, there it is. Let's just set it up so I can actually split it three ways. So, let's put it there. This will be the box for now. We'll do 100 of those to, to ourselves there. And then... I'm going to put the splitter in. And directly in line with this guy. Right? It's plenty of space. So the main box will be right there. I think that's going to be basically the loader box. Like, this will be where the trucks load. And my, my box will be, like, right there. But we're going to have this the sink up above this guy. So why don't we split it... Like, give ourselves two boxes of space here you know what I'm saying like side by side and then the third split will literally just go up to the sink that is kind of a cool idea actually yeah let's do it like that again we're gonna do one box for now but when we want to put trucks in we'll do another box so we got this guy we can just put it equidistance from that like that, and we'll put one on this other side. There we go. Sort of like that, I guess. We'll just take this out. That's going to be where the splitter is. And then this will be the box we aren't going to connect to yet. I'll just leave it here. Just so I remember to do it. And then this guy is going to go into here. But wait. Let's... There we go. Perfect perfect uh, curve there. This guy will go into there, but not yet. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to have a splitter that sends... There's probably a bunch of rotors built up. Oh, not really. <laughs> now, this splitter right here, or this conveyor, is going to send the rest of them up through a hole that we don't have yet. Right? we got to add that. Now, it looks like we're good right here. How can we have extra space like that? Dude, how do I jump over these boxes like that every time? Like a genius or something. Hey, it's turning. We don't want that. Uh, eh, it's fine for now. We'll, we'll fix that logistics later. Man, it's these metal legs, dude. And then if you don't if you don't do the special jump, it doesn't work. Okay, so I think this is fine. That's the second floor, though. The logistics floor is right there, right? No, it's a double logistics floor. So it should be fine to just literally build off this guy. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Do it again. Nope. Do it right on there. And then a third one, correct? Nope. God, what does it do that? Stop. All right. So we're going to want the sink. And I feel like each product needs its own sink. That sink is going to be right here, I believe. Is that right? No, one more over. It's actually going to be right here. I think that works. Let's try it. Let's try it. Should be receiving. There we go. Okay, so we've got the sink, or the lift going up to the sink upstairs. I think right over here is where we'll make our stairs to go up. 
We're not going to put anything right here, right? Just like we have it on the other side. We'll have stairs that go up instead. Why don't we make the stairs... Mm, they probably should be, like, right here. Uh, let's see. If we got the stuff built there, that's actually... We're going to need this. So how are we going to do these stairs? We could go up like that. Let's let's get on stairs and see how that would work. Like, we could do it... Like this. Well, I'd kind of want to turn it. Uh, corner... Uh, yeah, we want a corner, actually. Like that, and then like this. Yeah, like that. So that when we come out of here, right... We just run up here, and bam, we're up here. There are obviously going to be walls here. I'm not going to put them in for now. We'll just leave it as is. So we got rotors just waiting to be sunk now. Now, the only bad part about this, until we get smart splitters, the sink will always get some of our items. It is what it is. But when the box is full, the sink will get the sink will get all the items. You should get all the items, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so let's go to our sink thing here. Also, I've got roofs. I just haven't used them yet. I haven't had a lot of off-time cameras since I've been recording the last few episodes. Alright, let's just line this guy straight up with this. It's weird that I can't... Oh, there we go. There. Perfect. Does it stick out? No, no. Okay, it's nice. Alright, I like it, I like it. Um, yeah, that's right, this is a really wide factory, so this is actually, this is, this will actually be perfect. Oh, um, really, dude? Okay, um, five. Mark two, just, just because. Bam. Alright, so this is hooked up. We just need some power now, which is all the way on, on the other side of the building. The power could run out of this tube. Eventually. Should we just build it all the way out? Yeah, sure, why not? Really don't need this part of the factory yet. And again, this is the kind of the stuff I like to do off-camera. Not on-camera, because we don't have this kind of time usually. And I might run out of... Oh, I'm not going to run out. I have 3,000-something of these dudes. So this guy is supposed to be... Dark Gray, but we'll do it in a little bit here. Um, this guy... Nope. Oh, nope. There should be a middle dude. There we go. Okay. Again, this is why I like to do this off camera. It just takes forever. And I like to build stuff on camera. Alright, let's get that in. We'll build the flourishing green stuff in a little bit here. I just want to get this wiring down here. Um, it's not going to go that far. It's going to cut off right here. So let's just cut this. There we go. And we'll get the middle one in there. It's not really necessary. It just looks better. Oops. There we go. Then it looks like one solid piece of concrete. Alright, let's bring the wiring down. Get inside there and uh, get this thing wired up. And we'll just use the wiring from from this to do the whole do all the sinks. And I'll fix it off camera or something, or on a stream. Because, like, I'm not going to waste my time doing that. Um, let's just take it way down here, as far down as is possible. Will this go all the way? Nope, see, it, it's, it's too far. I oh, know it, it'll do it. Nope, too far. Okay, so it'll go here. Let's do it again. Again, this is going to be good enough. There we go. He's powered up. I think he's going to be running now, actually. You should be getting rotors. And that should bump us up pretty, pretty good. Let's go back down here. We're going to set a second one up of these to handle the plate. Right, let's see what happens when the, some rotors come down here. He's going to get 
three of these. Which again means we're not going to build up rotors as fast as I'd like. And I really don't want to do this next milestone because I want to get more alternate recipes before we do that. So we should see three go up here. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Mainly that's so if that box fills up, then you know what we should do? We should turn this off until the box fills up because I really need the rotors. I'd rather have the rotors. Let's turn that off. We'll just get all these, we'll get, we'll get all these put in, but we won't turn them on until the box is full. Or, or almost full, let's say. All right, let's set another one of these up. Or we're just gonna run this all the way down like we did for this. If we, if it, you know, needs to turn, that's fine. I don't really care. Um, yeah, right there. You can't. Oh, that's off. That's not even correct. All right. Nope, come on, dude. Okay. Straight. Alright, get down to the here. How do we do this one? Got it down to here. And then just let it do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's go hook it up. We'll do the two box approach. Well, I guess first... Yeah, we'll put the center box in, which we're going to remove, right? And it goes right there. Is that correct? Yep, okay, now we need this guy. Receiving from there. We're going to mm, we're gonna take that out, because it's going to be... Oh, I can't... Oh, that's right, because it's turned. All right, one there, one here. Oh, that's really tight. It's glad I'm glad we have this little space. All right, take this guy out. That is going to be the splitter, right? And I believe it's right there. Yep. Okay. And it's working. You can see that the. Oops. You can see that the uh, their uh, the rotors are not going up. There we go. Receiving. Perfect. Um, let's move the other box first. So I don't... Oops. Nope. Actually, shouldn't we have the... Well, it doesn't matter. Because both those boxes are going to be the same. So however we set up the trucks or the trains or whatever, whichever box we decide to use, it won't matter. Okay, so why don't we drop off some stuff so I can go pick up all the plates down here and bring them down here. Before we do this. There we go. Cool. Really need to reset the receiving area up too, I think. It is kind of nice to have, you know, two, like eight meters of space up in this logistics area. It just makes it so much easier. Alright, we're going to want probably six of those. And then take all. There we go. Right? Wait. We might have too many now still. Nope, that's correct. Okay, let's hook it up. It's been sitting there, backing up. And we want to do this. Is that correct? Yeah, that looks right. Alright, so again, we're going to hook up this sink. But we are not going to turn it on. Alright, we're going to turn it off. Right there. Look at me, man. Look at me. Yeah, that's that's it. That's it right there. It feels backward, but it's not. Alright, we're gonna hook it up from the same nub here. Whatever it's called. But that means it's adding it to our power. I guess that's okay. Let's get the lift on there. Cool. Now it's all set up. We're gonna turn it off though. Because the box is nowhere near full. So those are those two lifts. They don't look great. At least there's no clipping. Um, well, they're clipping with the ceiling right there. So I think up here we'd probably... We're going to have to take some of this off. Right? Because we don't want them to clip. We want to build some roof in here. 
Actually, you probably could still leave these in. I'll build some kind of cool roof thing, like I'm going to do over for the coal plant. Um, like with some slanted roof and stuff like that. So, there we go. I think these two guys are done. We don't have anything over here. There's nothing over here. It would probably be smart plates and, and the uh, modular frames will be over here, probably. What's this guy waiting on product? It's probably plates. Yeah, see? Not enough plates. We really need to up our plates and stuff. We're gonna... We need to draw in more, more iron. We need to tap more iron, like, now. This guy's waiting on screws. Yep. Okay, so that's... that's It's done. I mean, we're not using these right now. We will use the other ones. This stuff, we need the product. More than we need this items sunk. I just want to be able to turn it on when it does fill up. Because for these plates, actually, that's going to be fairly soon. Uh, did I leave this in? No, those are just okay. But these rotors are going to be... Oh, it's already done 100 since we were over here. Is that right? Or I just... Yeah, it's done 100. That's pretty good, man. We'll be turning it on before you know it. All right, let's get over to the Ironworks factory. Actually, those are set up, right? No, I need to reset them up. So let's get... Go over there. Now I can just do this. Mmm, that doesn't look right. Why is this wall like that? That's right. Why is this not right? Oh, that's right, it was the end piece. Before we decided it wasn't going to be the end. Alright, let's extend that out a little bit. Maybe like that. I'm not really sure why it's got a... This seems really low. Why don't we have this the same height as that? I don't know why we would do that. I'm going to have to rip that out, too. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's get over to the ironworks. I think we're going to need to bring in more copper, too. We need way more copper sheets per minute. That's not enough. That's, like, that's such an, an anemic pace. All right, ironworks. We need to set this guy back up because we are full on plates. Oh, no, we want all the plates to go to the other guy. We're short on plates. We need more plates. What about rods? This guy is still running, right? Yeah, he's all set up. This guy's all set up. This thing's all over the board now. I think we've gotten all the tickets we're going to get for a while, I think. All right, let's go to the copper works. Actually, we might be... Oh, no, 22 minutes? Yeah, this is probably going to take the rest of the episode. Oh, that's going to work against us. On the way over here, I was, I was on the other belt when I was doing this. I was going so fast... Just because the belt was helping me move. Like, watch, I'll do it over here. With these guys. Check that out, dude. I'm going to take a lot of damage off this watch. Oh, damn. Not as much as I thought I would take. <laughs> this is how you get around. You just need a bunch of belts and some super jumps or whatever these are called. Trick jumps. Alright, so input, we don't need any sinks. We need sinks on the output. And we're not going to sink our copper sheet right now. Because we need those. The only thing we actually have a lot of and don't need any more of. And we got to get rid of this. It's not wide enough, right? We need three wide. Is the wire and the, co and the cable. Wire and cable we can throw away. Which will help us a little bit on our tickets. But not a lot. We're going to build this the same way we did the other one, though. And I think I just saw... Is that mycelium right there? It is. I should go get, go get that. I mean, I don't need it yet. Let's mark that on the map. Because I might need some eventually, and then I'm going to want to know where it is. It's right here, actually. It's like right there. Right? Or is that on the path? It looks like it's on that path right there. Um, let's see. I wonder if there's like a tree icon. Leaves. Here we go. My my silly. Um. Okay. Cool. All right. So if I ever need any, it's right there. Yeah, we're gonna leave these guys alone. We're not gonna do anything with these guys. We're also containerizing these guys. And then we'll get way more going over there. So that'll increase our rotors by a lot. Well, if we're doing that, we might as no. We don't want to sink them. We're just going to send them all over to the other side. That's a really weird box, though. I don't like that box. 
All right, let's go down here and do the wire first. I just thought of something I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, I got to sink more product back at the hub. It's also time to move our base soon. Um, because the old base is done. Like, we, we don't need to go over there anymore. There's really no reason to go there. Is that our old base right there? What is that? Yeah, there's our old base right there. Well, actually, that's... What is that? Oh, that's the, the new concrete manufacturing spot right there. That's our, old, our our base right there. Well, that's really the entrance to the smelt area. This is our crappy silica area. We might have, we might work on that. There's really, well, we're not using it for anything. When I when I need it for something, I'll make a proper factory for it. For now, I don't need, I'm not going to. Waterworks. We really have a lot of beautification to do. That's for sure. But anyway, that's the, where the base is going to be. That's going to be my new hub, basically. So probably going to be time to start moving stuff over there and start bringing products and make sure that the that I have plenty of roads that lead into there so that I can do the trucks drop off and stuff like that and I can bring all the materials to me. So what we're going to do is let's just dump off this wire for now. Let's disconnect this thing. Now I, I believe our setup over here is good. Let's disconnect this guy. So he'll just stop. I should have disconnected him right there. There we go. Let's let's do that again. Okay. Then this is the setup, right? Yeah, that's one product. Two products? Is this, no, cables over here. That's right. I left this all for copper wire. Probably a smart move. So we only have one product on this side. It's that right there. So we need to make two boxes. And then we're going to make the, um, the sink area, right? The sink splitter thing. Is this guy full? Almost. Almost full. Uh, let's do another one of these and drop off stuff. There we go. And then I can pick this up. Drop it off here for now. There we go. Okay. So we don't have high enough space here. We're going to have to move this up a little bit. And then we might take out some of these windows if we're just going to have it staring right into a big block or something. I guess I can look at the sink. Not that big a deal. But this is not going to be high enough. See how those boxes are higher? We have to go up one, I believe. So we will be doing that. Um, first, we'll get the boxes in. We want them on this line. Like that. That's the center one that we are actually going to take out. There we go. We want one for us, one for the the truck. Now we need the, the floor. Actually, we need the splitter. And it's going to be in the middle. Oh, wow. It's, like, perfect. Oop. What? Why didn't it do it? Oh, I have no cable. There we go. Let's move this over. Oh, shit. I mean, st <laughs> stuff. I got used to being on Twitch. Twitch, you can cuss. <laughs> they don't care. I mean, they don't care that much, I guess. We want... Well, let's not do that, because what if I have them over here? Alright, let's see if I have wire over here. Yeah, I already have wire. Okay, so let's... Mm, we don't need to reattach this yet. There we go. Um, and then 4E into that. Actually, no, that doesn't work, huh? It, it, you gotta bring it out one. Like that there. And then I'm going to hook this up because I want to get them going into the box. They're all backed up. Alright, there we go. So that that is going to be probably the pickup box. Now we're going to need something above this. So what I'm going to do is bring this out and then go one on, on top of it. And I believe that is the size we need. It clips on the box, but I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Because the box can be built in, right? So it's just a built-in box. Not a big deal. Um, I kind of feel like this is going to make the factory not look as nice, but... What can you do? we got to do it. And I don't want it to go any higher, because those... Those sinks are so damn tall anyway. We'll figure out where this needs to be in a minute here. Remember, we're going to cut a hole in it, just like we did over on the other side. Nope. 
So what we're going to do is right here, we want it to be knocked out. We don't want this stuff. Right, perfect, perfect. And this one is not going to have the turn. It's just a straight drop down. There we go. It's going to be weird on different floors where I don't have a four foot or a four meter foundation, though. It's going to stick through. I don't know how we're going to do that. We have to go up two floors. Okay, so now we can put the floor hole in. That's a hypertube thing. Nope, really, where's the floor hole? There it is. Right there. Conveyor pole. There we go, floor hole. Is that? That is not right. There we go. And then... We're going to be receiving... Okay, so that's all hooked up too. Yeah, see? It's working already. I think we can sync the wire. I don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal if we have this the wiring, um, the wire syncing. I don't need wire that often, actually. Seven. Let's get this guy in. We already know exactly how we want it. Lined up. See how it had the yellow, or I mean that green line? I need to watch those a little closer. Um, I had a comment from Phoenix saying, hey, dude, maybe draw your lifts first. But I think what it is is I just need to pay more attention to the green lines. Is that a tier two? Well, I know how to do how to tell. Oh, it wasn't. It was a tier one. Okay. This guy needs power. We should have power right here. Now we can't clip though. We got to go underneath. There's got to be power underneath, right? And then I can do the cheat thing where you do a nub on the bottom and I don't know bring it right through or something I really don't want power poles out here I mean I guess I could do it on the wall but it would look stupid how do I get into this building from this side there is no way to get in huh could put a door right there well there's equipment in the way now actually what we need is a a way to get up right here. We have extra space. Remember, we have tons of extra space. Uh, now that's going to stick out. What is this? Oh, yeah, that was our little box. Let's just remove that. Well, that's cl going to clip a little bit, I think. We'll figure this out in a minute, but let's do something like this. Yeah, see, it's gonna clip. We'll figure. I'll, I'll fix that in a little while. Eh, I don't really love it, but it kind of works. Is wire all backed up? Cool. Okay, well we got to get the sink on that guy pretty soon, huh? All right, so there should be. There's power right there, or there can be. In fact, we can do power right through this wall. Oh, that that's how you do it. Okay. I don't think this has a nub though, because I haven't set up wire on this side. All right, let's go downstairs. We might actually remove that. Might have a better way to get in here. I know there's wire over here. Power. All right, let's just set up the other nub here. No, power line. There we go. Okay, I was like, what is it doing? All right, so which side are we on here? Uh, we're on that line, okay. Too far. Let's do it in the middle. Cool, okay. Connect it again. This should run all the way down now. Okay, we want it right there. I think we want it further back. So we take this out. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. So let's put it up here. It's like we normally would. And then I think we can run it straight through. Let's do a double outlet to the other side. And just do this. There we go. Okay. I, that looks good. Make sure the color is correct. No, seriously. 
There we go. Alright. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that's good. It's not perfect, but it's good. Now, we need to do that side because we don't have a sink for the, the wire and it's like overflowing. I don't really like that these clip the boxes, but I think it's okay. Again, I don't want to make basically cover up all the windows with, with more building. All right, let's get the stairs in there. This is not very pretty, but I will pretty this up later. Um, I'm in the way. There we go. All right, let's do this just like we did the other one. Drop some stuff off. Pick this up. Mm, pick this up. There we go. All right. We've done this a few times now. We know how to do it. All right, that's where that guy goes. It seems really far back, but... One there, one there. That's going to clip. Clip. Oh, no! Okay. Again, we're going to we're gonna have to do something about this. That doesn't work. Maybe, maybe we have the ladder over here. In fact, we could have it all the way over here. Although it's going to get in the way of the door. That That's not going to work. I'll have to figure this out. We'll leave the ladder there for now. It doesn't clip or anything, but... But uh, it doesn't look very nice, that's for sure. Okay, it's splitter. Let's get that sucker hooked in. And then the floor hole, which goes right here. I'm out of concrete, of course. Oh, it's because it's in here. Oh, um, this guy should have that. Okay. All right. No, it's the other way around. This guy should have what we, our stuff. All right, let's just do it right. Let's just do it right, guys. All right. You should be here. There we go. All right, let's get this flowing again. Well, it's really not going to go anywhere, but... So we'll get the sink set up, actually. Yeah, that's where it goes. Mark 2. Receiving. Perfect. Perfect. Let's actually make this flow. Nope. Because we want it to flow right into the sink right when we set it up. We can get it going this way, too. It's not going to do anything, but... There we go. All right, let's get the sink up here. And then we'll get it running by just running the cable like we did before. The other side is set up. This is going to stick off the edge. This setup doesn't work. Is this correct? Are these correct? Yeah, I guess so. There's a lot less space in this one. Oh, it's not as wide. So we're going to have to go one more. We're going to have to, like, do that. Yeah, these aren't going to be able to be here. Well, what we could do is this. I believe that will work. And it solves our problem, actually, I think. All right, so let's put the... We should have just put them in when we were there, but that's okay. Let's get do it again here. I'm standing on it. Okay. There. Now it should work. Let's get this sucker in there. Yeah. Perfect. Like, barely, but perfect. Not exciting work here, but work that must be done, right? <laughs> yes. Put it in the sink, please. Okay, now let's hook up some power. Just like we did last time. We're going to go under here. I should have power over here. Yeah. There it is. There's a little power nub. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> um, I believe it's offset, right? Oh, no. It's right in the middle. It shouldn't be right in the middle. 
Is that right? See how it's... Is that right? No, see how it's off a little bit? Oh, it's going the other way, though. Actually, this is more correct than mine. Let's repaint. No, repaint. Seriously, guys. No, repaint. There we go. Okay. Um, I'll leave it. It's not that big of a deal. This is off. That's wrong. That one is wrong. That one goes right there. We'll fix that later. Actually, it's because we're using two. We'll fix it later, though. Um, that needs to be... We said right here would be good, right? Because, yeah, the door's sticking out over here. Okay. Not ideal placement, but not bad. See how it's going to kind of be in the way a little bit? I don't want to fix it because it's going to take too long. Okay, let's just get this guy and duplicate him over to here. And then power them up. And then replace the floor. And then paint the floor. And we're good. Alright, now we have power. Yeah, this is really this is really bad. I gotta fix that. Okay. It's not set up perfectly, but that, I think that's okay. It's okay to connect way over here. Alright, now this should actually start sinking. We went down, that's funny. Probably because I cut off the, the reinforced plate sink. Wires, our cable is not a great item to sink. It's okay. Actually, that was a big boost. 5368 now. Okay, I mean, it's it's a tier... I mean, it's... It's an item made from a, a for tier 1 item, if I guess, if you want to say. It's, like, made from another item, right? But it's not very complicated. 5,300 per minute is not that much. So I think that's kind of it. Everything is being sunk that needs to be sunk. Is that right? I believe so. Right? Because we didn't have sinks for the wire or the cable before. Now we do. I don't like them. They're not perfect, but I think it's okay. What about down here? The copper is going to be going for a while. It's almost done. I could bring the copper over here and fill that box up. Then we can send it all to the rotors. Let's go check out base. This was okay. I need to figure out how I want to do the back part of this. I want, like, area to walk around, I think, too. So I'll have to figure that out. And then, in between episodes, I don't really have a lot of time to do this, but I need to find more hard drives. And since I'm going on vacation, see how you can go real fast if you get on these belts? Oh, man, it fell off. It also helps when you're running uphill, because you can't do the super jump. Also, I'm going on vacation, and I need to record some episodes to post for you guys. I don't really have any... Well, I have some off-camera uh, off time in between episodes coming up pretty soon, actually. It's only Sunday right now for me, and I'm not leaving until next Friday. That's plenty of time to record some more episodes and and do some off-camera time. But since we have like 15 minutes, maybe we can go use our tickets and then uh, maybe um, dismantle base a little bit. Actually, I think for right now this is still a good base. It's still pretty central um, for what we want. And then we can move the other one we have more roads and stuff. I think I don't want to move it till we have trucks. Because I want to I want to truck some items back to base. So I drained these two guys. This was cable and wire. Yeah, see, they're all done. We're almost done, guys. We have everything now, actually. Everything that we had over here is now done. See, here's the copper plate, or copper sheet. I could bring some of that back. Let's do that. And then I'll just... Uh, sink the rest of this. There we go. 
And then we can pick up some of this stuff. We can get to smart plates. That's one thing we could do. Like right now. I really want to do the hard drives though. We cannot do the next milestone until we get more alternate recipes. There's a recipe I want to get where you can do reinforced iron plate with no screws. I think there's also a rotor recipe with no screws. You can get recipes for all these things that have no screws. So I'd really like to get those before we move on. We don't need these anymore over here. Well, let's go drop those sheets off. Now how are we doing? Oh yeah, 7300. That's pretty good. We almost have another ticket. Let's go see if we can spend our tickets real fast on what, what we'd want to get. Now, every time we unlock stuff, we're going to have more things to possibly buy. So, again, it's good to buy all this stuff now before we have the opportunity for more stuff. I don't think I want tar roof. That sounds dumb. Um... Factory zone patterns would be kind of cool. We have six tickets. Okay. I like factory zone pattern. Dotted line patterns could be nice. Pathway patterns. Full factory zoning. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's six, though. Numbers for floors. Floor numbers would be neat. Although you can just do that with the signs. I'm not really sure what arrow, arrows would do. But arrows are kind of cool. Dotted lines would also be neat. It's four though. These are kind of expensive. Okay, we don't need any of this stuff. The power icon would be kind of neat. Transportation pattern icons. Parking. Ooh, that could kind of be neat. A crosswalk. That's three? I kind of like that. Especially when I, when I get my truck, I want to make some truck stops. Okay, I want to have each factory have a place I can pull up and park and get out, right? That's kind of... That's a good idea, actually. And that means I'm probably going to want arrow patterns. Let's get this and we'll get arrow patterns. There we go. And then we'll use those. Uh, maybe we can use them over at the copper, copper factory for a little while. Okay, let's go back. Let's drop these sheets off. We got, what, 13 minutes? It's plenty of time. We, we actually went faster than I thought we would. I need to spend some more time on this, uh, this loading area right there, too. It looks pretty bad, actually. You know what we should do? We should go get some more iron and stuff and just get it into the smeltery right now. Because we're going to need a lot more. Or do we don't have nearly enough. Well, I could have hitched right on that guy. Look how close I am. I want to do that in one of these episodes. Here we go. Take some damage. That's a lot of damage. We've gone a long way in the past few episodes. In the last ten episodes, you've really made this thing... Like, we've really gone a long way. We've done a lot. All right, there's no reason to have any stick stickers out here. We got to figure out what we're doing too, because hey, we can sink. No, we don't want to sink this. We want all the copper sheet to go to the rotors. So let's just drop this in the box. There we go. Wow, we have a lot left. Now we should want see that we're gonna get a lot more copper sheets out of here, because now it's not gonna go. It's not gonna go the other way. It's all gonna go this way now. It should be any minute now, because it really just has nowhere else to go. If it doesn't, we got a problem. Because actually, we were only sending five sheets, or 30 sheets per minute going this way, right? Because we were doing 60 out and splitting it. So we're going 30 one way, and then this isn't, this, it's not happening. It's still going in. Why? Why would it do that? There we go. Okay, now it should do it. It's funny that when you click that, it doesn't just fill up every stack. I don't know why it doesn't. Nope, still not yet. Does it have to back up? It's got to back up on the other belt first. Is it nuts? There we go. There we go. Now we got double the amount of copper sheets going this direction. Perfect. Perfect. 
We're not going to sink them. We're just going to leave it there. Now let's go get the rotors and pick up all the other stuff and move it. So when we do smart plates, it's just rotors and reinforced plates. I'm wondering if we should do that on like floor two or something. We have a lot of factory space though. We could route it back. We have enough logistics to route it back. We'll probably do that. I'll have to split it again. That just feels bad, dude. I gotta put these in the sink. These sheets. Um, yeah, if I split it again, geez, it's gonna be like four splits on those guys. I'm so glad I've been able to keep a lot of the trees and stuff. It really looks cool around here still. Again, I only chop the trees when I when I have to. Is there a box back here? No, I thought I saw like a box. You know how when you pick something up and you don't have any inventory space on you and it just drops a little box? That's what I thought I saw. Uh, we're gonna need... Let's keep two bundles of that. There we go. We should have another ticket by now, I think. Yeah, there we go. Let's get that ticket. Cool. Now we can get these rotors, because we're going to put them in the box over there. We don't need this many on us ever. We'll pick up these guys. We'll pick up the smart plates. Getting pretty low, low on this extra junk. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. This this uh, base is almost dead, guys. This is almost the end. Pretty happy with what we've done since uh, we've set this base up right here. Remember when we ripped all this out and it was all empty? I want to say that was episode 15 or something. Looks sweet now, man. This this uh, smeltery looks really cool. It's not really... i got to figure out this receiving area, though, but I think it looks pretty nice. Got a miner in there. All the copper coming in pretty smoothly, actually. All right. We got eight minutes, so we can cut this one a little short. Really don't have anything else to do right now. Let's go drop off these rotors. And then uh figure out what we're gonna do for the next episode. I probably will set up like a smart plate thing and the uh, modular frames. I think modular frames are screws that we we need more iron for that. We need one more line of iron. Because we're running we're out of screws. We're using up we used up all our screws. Again, I'm not pulling these bushes because they're gonna go away. Eventually, this is all going to be trucks and stuff. Are um, now nah, we're still getting the uh, slow pace. It hasn't caught up yet. It will eventually. Eventually, we will get double the amount. We'll get all sixty per minute coming in. Although I think this thing's actually being bottlenecked by the screws, not the plates. Well, if it wasn't being bottled up, well, no, because we have a, a box over here, right? Yeah. See. It's fine on plate. What it needs is more screws. This is empty. Yep, see? Screws is always the bottleneck. Alright, let's go drop these off. Why do I have a hole right there? Nope. There we go. Gotta use the doors, dude. Can't wait to get lights. That's one thing I would like to get. I do need to unlock some stuff to get lights, though. Alright, let's put this in the rotor box rotors. We only need like a hundred of those. I think they're only for assemblers. Wow, we have a lot of rotors already. That's awesome. So, what I don't want to have to do is split rotors again. Well, see, I don't have the sink on, so that'd probably be fine. Split rotors again to go to smart plates. Plus, it's going to be a it's going to be a logistical nightmare. I'm going to have to take them up over the other belts. I could, re I could do all these belts on top of the ceiling and then drop it all down. That's probably a better idea, so it doesn't get in the way. This is long belt going all the way across the the, uh, the logistics floor. I don't. I think this is the way to do it. I really wish I could set up a truck just to drive over and drop stuff off. Every one of these things is going to need a receiving area. That's going to be a pretty. That's going to be a little bit of a nightmare, probably. All right. All right. Plates, 
coming in, I hope. Where are the plates? Are they not... Oh, okay, it's just slow. We need more screws for plates, too. Screws is the bottleneck here, I think. We'll be able to tell if we... No, it's these plates. Alright, uh, well, we can set up where these guys are going to come out, right? And then I can at least drop them off. So we got one space on the second one right there, right? We got one space. They're going to be a product right there. This doesn't look right. Oh, yeah, we have two spaces. Is that what we want? That's weird. How wide is this thing? Five? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's why there's an odd amount. Well, shouldn't there be... Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then five. Oh, actually, that's, that's just right. There's a walkway. Duh. All right, so the second product, which would be modular frames, is going to come out right there. I feel like I want doors over here, too. I don't think that's that big of a deal. I'm going to make a door right here. Especially for this thing. It's, it's a pretty big factory. There we go. Go. Run. Okay, so... We're going to have to extend this. So I can actually walk out here. Oh no, we're gonna run into some rock, dude. We don't have enough space. And we don't really need the whole thing, but it's fine. Just to, for aesthetics. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run into these rocks. That's okay. Just barely. Alright, so let's I guess we can set this up. We gotta look, we got three minutes. The smart plates is gonna come over here, because I'm gonna drop the smart plates off. So, we're going to want one of these guys receiving, like, right on this thing, but right there. And then we want one on each side, either side. Take this out. Number six. We're, like, pros with this now. It's going to receive right there. Yep, green on that side. Perfect. And then we're going to extend this. I like this factory size seems to be the better than the other one. It just we have plenty of space to work with. We're gonna need uh oh. Haven't seen this in a while, have you? We're gonna need this guy. Where's the tree? There it is. Boosh. I hate doing that, but it had to be done. No, I, I did this. There we go. Let's pick up a couple of these, I guess. All right. Get the rest of these in. Maybe we can set up the, re the receiving for the modular frames, too. Oops. Keeps doing that. Keeps I did it again. All right. We got that. We need the floor hole. We're going to put the sinks in. Yeah, we'll just do all the sinks right now. It's actually a smart idea. Then we'll be ready for our other products. Got to do it anyway, right? There and here. Alright, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna get this guy. Turn him the correct way. Cool. And. Again, for now, the outside is where we put our product. So we can also, also put modular frames over here. We want 27 of them, though, because that's how we actually make the car and stuff like that. All right, there. That's good. Four E, no, four E. So this guy's gonna run to there. Cool. That means when we build this, this stuff will all be set up. There we go. Put the floor holes in. Pretty sure that's right. Yep. Put this one in. set up this and then we're gonna get those sinks in there now if I I'm not gonna power up the sinks 
I'll just put them up there and get them hooked up. So we're all hooked up here. Uh, let's get some stairs over here. I think I don't know. It's gonna look funky though. We get stairs over here. Aren't they gonna connect? Yeah, they're gonna connect. So actually, what we can do is put in a T right here. Or a uh, crossing. Is that right? Yeah, okay, cool. That actually looks really sweet. If I had... See, if I had blueprints, I would just destroy the other factories and build, build them this big. I like the size of this one. It just fits better. Let's get a couple sinks in here. Wow, look at that. I, I can, like, literally build so well now. Couldn't even tell that just a couple minutes ago, or a couple episodes ago, I was complaining, huh? Did it just snap to it? It did. Roll it back. It's... I didn't turn it. Well, that's cool. I like that. Do that again. Huh. Okay. Sweet. I'm going to turn these off just in case when we hook them up. 8,100 per minute. Nice. Is this one... Oh, these are off. So these, this isn't going to do anything. Yeah, see. Alright, well, those things are set up. Cool. Again, the flooring is not really set up. But that's fine. Let's just uh, maybe set some of it up. Oops. We're actually over time. I don't even have this side of the floor uh, factory set up anyway. All right, that's gonna do it. Sinks. We're all synced up now, guys. We're all synced up. Now we're gonna do. Well, let's check off some stuff. Well, it's really just one bullet, right? We sunk some stuff. Nice. And then in, bet in between episodes, I'm gonna try to get some more hard drives. I'm gonna just do that off off cam. I was gonna wait for a stream, but I'm not gonna be streaming for now for a week and a half, so almost two weeks. So I'll just do some off camera, and then we'll get to smart plates and modular frames. I might have to do that first. It just depends on how much time I have. But uh, anyway, let me know if you liked this episode in the comment section. Tell me what you think I did wrong or can fix. I always love to hear about that. I like this setup better. Just the space just is right. Also, subscribe if you do like this content and hit the bell notification to receive those notifications. And I will see you on the next one. Stay frosty.